Hi guys, in this video we will be learning about two contrasting volcanic events, which are the eruptions of Mount Nyira Gongo and Ayaf Yaliokul, and finishing with an exam style question. First of all, we're going to look at the eruption of Mount Nyira Gongo, which was in the Democratic Republic of Congo, as shown on this map here, which is in East Africa. Sorry, West Africa. And this occurred in 2002. The red pin here shows you the exact location of the volcano. So it's on the eastern side near the borders of Uganda and Rwanda. And this is a photo of the volcano here. So to give a bit of background, the volcano is in the Virunga Mountains in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And the main crater of the volcano is around 250 metres deep, two kilometres wide, and normally contains a lava lake. So in the past, this volcano has erupted more than 30 times, and it accounts for 40% of all of Africa's volcanic eruptions. This type of volcano usually produces fluid lava, and this tends to flow at 90 kilometres an hour. And this volcanic eruption happened, as I said, in January 2002. So next we're going to look at the risk and vulnerability relating to this eruption. And one of the main reasons that it was a high risk eruption was due to the high population. Now there is a town next to the volcano called Goma Town. And the reason why people have been attracted to living in this area because of the high altitudes means they have... A long growing season so this is a farming community and also the volcano provides really fertile soils so yes a high popul popul population around the volcano due to the good agricultural um, conditions also the volcano tends to produce a lot of poisonous gases when it erupts so that's one big risk and Another risk is that people are also attracted to living in this area because there are lots of eruptions, but not all of them have lava flows. So people tend to think that they're quite safe and the um, volcano is not going to properly erupt and produce lava. So in 2002, there was a very unexpected volcanic eruption and there are warning of the lava flows and this enables people to flee the area prior to the volcanic eruption actually taking place. Hi guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level geography videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level geography a walk in the park.